Oh, hey, so today I'm with Michael Rizzi. Hello. Please tell everyone what you bless the internet with. So I, bl I bless the internet. <laughs> I bless the internet with, with his face. With my face, because that's all I'm good for. <laughs> Hi, um, I make like LGBT education videos, I do sex ed content, and I also do men's fashion and lifestyle because I'm so fashionable. Yes, and on his channel, we just answered a bunch of awkward questions. We so did. you have to go watch that too. I touched his butt, so if that's a selling point to get you over there. True, I touched his butt too. So really, I mean, if you're looking for the thirst trap content, We've, We've got, it. got it for you. <laughs> so today I wanted to talk about more awkward things. The first and worst times that we have gotten drunk. Can I tell the worst time first? Let's do the worst first. <laughs> Basic information about me, I don't love heavy drinking. Same. So I'm not the person to get drunk. I'm not the messy bitch of the party. I wish I was. It's a very iconic position to be in, but I'm just never that. I'm such a lightweight, so like Same. it takes so little amount of drinks to get me to that point. Yeah. When I go to parties, I'm usually with my boyfriends, we're usually talking and hanging out, so I usually don't focus on drinking. But Halloween 2014, we were at his apartment. He was throwing a Halloween party and he invited some friends that he hadn't seen in a while. So he was busy, he was off with them. I wasn't talking with him. So instead of I can sense where this is going. socializing, I just drank, which is not a healthy thing to do kids. <laughs> Don't do that. Not advised. Not advisable. I was like, oh, I'm an awkward person. I'm not socializing with anyone. Let's just fill the void with alcohol. It's not a healthy thing to do. Don't do it. And I got really drunk. And it got to the point where I remember I was sitting on the bathroom floor and all my friends were talking to me as if I was a five year old. They were like, Michael, are you feeling okay? Is your stomach hurt? Is it okay? And I was like, I honestly guys, I'm like totally fine. And I just felt like an upward pressure going on and I just turn around and just throw up into the toilet. Like it was just projecting into the toilet. Apparently I've been told, I don't remember this part, when I was done, I swung my head back, but I lost balance and I hit it on the bathtub oh. like corner. But I don't remember that part. Maybe that's where I blacked out. Um, <laughs> that's where my brain cells went. Oh yeah, I woke up in my boyfriend's bed. He was not there. I think he had to go to work that morning. I don't remember why he wasn't there. And I woke up and I couldn't find my phone. So I get up and I'm still drunk. And I'm like, shit, 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 I'm still drunk, I'm still drunk, oh my god, I need to find my phone. So I'm like racing around the room, I check under the bed and I see it, but like, the phone is like doing this, cause like I'm still drunk, so I can't focus on one thing. And I grab it, and then I rush downstairs, as I'm walking away from the apartment building towards the bus stop, the girls who came to the party were walking towards me, and they're like, hey Michael, how's your night? And I was like, I'm still drunk! That wasn't the worst situation you could have been in. But I'm boring, so that's the best I could come up with. Well, what he forgot to tell you, he didn't wake up in bed next to his boyfriend. He woke up next to the Babadook. The Baba... <laughs> the Babadook is the gay icon we never <laughs> had. Okay, so my worst time, I guess I have a couple worst times. There was a time that I'm not gonna count because it was more roofy than alcohol. I told that story somewhere on my channel too with Loie Lane. I'm gonna go to a different direction. This was, I think it was like maybe 20 perhaps. And I was at my uh, my be my ex best friend's ex boyfriend's house. So they were still dating at the time. You're like, and I hate everyone now. Yeah, what are friends? So he went to Rutgers University and it was a college yeah. town. And so there were lots of parties and you know, things happening all the time. Lots of things. So we went to his house. You know how college houses usually are. It's like a four bedroom house with 90 men living inside. And beer cans everywhere. Yes. I went to one of the parties and this was like one of the first times that I had been drinking in a social setting. And on the table, there's Everclear, which if you don't know- Isn't that the one that is super high alcohol content? Yes, I think it's like 200 proof. <laughs> it's like 100% alcohol. I'm like, okay, well I'll do her. And then oh, there was a juice Lord. on the table. Right. And the juice, I don't know if you have this in Canada, but it was called Twister. Oh, is that, is it an iced tea kind of thing? No, I think I know what you're talking about, but it, it was like different kinds of juices. Okay. So they would like just mix different juices together. All right. Not alcoholic or anything, just juice. And I'm like, well, this looks delicious. So I took my Everclear, poured it in. I took the Twister, poured it in. And I'm drinking it. Bonk. I get drunk really fast. And so I'm like, something is, is really just like awry here. But did something you know the Everclear was that strong? Um, I think I did, but I only put a little bit. Okay. I come to find out from my friend's boyfriend that the Twister 
was actually jungle juice. And it has oh, no. already has Ever Everclear in it. Jungle juice, if you didn't know, is like a typical frat party kind of drink where they have a whole bunch of juices and they usually add white sugar to it on top so it makes it super sweet so it actually masks the alcohol really well. Yeah, and I just want to let everyone know that it was in the bottle that says Twister. Like it had the label on it still with the cap and everything. Oh my it God. did not look suspicious at all. So, I mean, that night consisted of me Dropping my pants. I mean, I still had um, my underwear on, but dropping my pants and dancing around um, in the party. And I don't specifically remember throwing up, but I'm gonna have to say that that probably happened because I don't remember uh, much after certain points. <laughs> oh my gosh. You had jungle juice with 100 proof? Yes, girl. Uh, she has made mistakes. Kids, don't drink. It's not good for you. And if you're at a party, please ask someone ask what someone. is in something that you trust. <laughs> okay, what about the first time you got drunk? The first time I ever got drunk, we went to our friend's place because um, his dad wasn't going to be there all weekend. And so we slept over. And so we had our friend's older brother buy us watermelon vodka. Uh -huh. So um, we started mixing it with Coke and it tasted absolutely disgusting. And I was like, oh my God, this is terrible. And then I remember about an hour into it, it started tasting like candy. Like, you know that point where the alcohol begins to taste good? Mm -hmm. And that's the point where you know, because you know, because you've been drinking for a long time in your life, this is, I got drunk. Like this is the, the point where things go downhill. I didn't know that. I was just like, wow, maybe my taste buds have accustomed to the strength of the alcohol that now I'm just good. Looking back on the pictures of that night, mm -hmm. every single picture had those stupid like tongue out. I was like, <laughs> the first time I got drunk, wait, did I talk about being goody two shoes? Oh, on your channel. Yes. I was like a very proper boy. I mean, I still am. I love how you were like, I was a proper very boy. Very proper boy. So the first time I ever had gotten drunk, it was legal. I was 19, but it was legal because I was in St. Martin where the drinking age is I think 18. And it was with my dad. So like my dad, me, um, and my cousins, maybe one, one of my cousins. Anyway, this is not important <laughs> information to the story. So we were at a bar, like yeah. at our hotel, and the ocean was behind us, super pretty. And my dad's just like buying shots, whatever. And I had some shots, maybe one, maybe two. And I feel fine. Like I'm like, oh, this, this is what drinking is? Like this is boring, nothing's happening. We're done at the bar and I get up and I look behind me and for some reason the ocean's like this. Oh no. <laughs> and I'm like, huh. Is this a normal angle for the ocean to be? No, is the answer. And that's the first time I ever felt what drunk felt like. And I thought like my world changed. I was like, oh my God, this is so much different than I expected it to be. I just see people acting stupid when they're drunk. Yeah. And I'm like, you're just an idiot. But then I understood why people act like idiots when they're drunk. But there's a, there's a very clear window when you're drunk. It's like you start to drink, then it's like the most amazing time you're ever gonna have. And, and, but that's a very small window. And then it's just downhill from there. <laughs> Do you wake up with like a hangover? Um, I don't think I was like that drunk that there okay. were any like negative repercussions. I just remember very specifically how I felt. I remember thinking that I felt so badass because I drank and I wasn't 21 yet. You know? So, I mean, I hope you guys learned something I thought you were drinking. Yes. Yes because we don't learn from our mistakes. That's really the lesson here. Enjoy drinking when you're young and expect to hate it when you're older. <laughs> if that ain't the true incident <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining me on my thank channel. Thank you for having me. Please go over to Michael Rizzi's channel. It's youtube.com slash Michael Rizzi and there's a link here and there's a link there and there's a link wherever you want. There's a link in this little eye thing. If you look to your left in your room and you just grab it, that's a link to my channel. It's a link. We made that a hyperlink just for your convenience. <laughs> hyperlink, Henny. I'm Nicola Foti. You're watching A Soundly Wake, and I will see you in a few days with a new video. Pieces. Pieces. Yes. Warden. He loves to lay in the most precarious places. His head is on the bottom of my chair. <laughs> Sir, you're gonna be decapitated. <laughs>